And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a few words from tonight's winner. Oh, my word. Um, hello. <laughs> I'm going to, is that okay? Of course. You can deliver from anywhere you want. Wow. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Fine. Yeah, ask me. Ask me. I've not practiced my speech, so please forgive me if um, I mess it up slightly. But first of all, thank you to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Thank you to Sunny Varki and the Varki Foundation. I want to share this honor with my fellow teachers and wonderful students at Alperton Community School in Brent, London. <laughs> London. <laughs> Mo, I think I know how it feels now. <laughs> I also want to share this honor with my fellow finalists. Incredible people, incredible. and all the teachers from all over the world. Because tonight, it's not about one person. It's about celebrating all the teachers and recognizing the important role they play in shaping the future for our children. Um, I know the people who have influenced me the most. My mum, my dad, who are somewhere here where are you, Mum? <laughs> yeah. The Greek family have arrived. <laughs> um, also, thank you to my incredible rock, my husband, my beautiful daughters, Sophia and Maria. Um, my head teacher, my boss, who is in this building today, so thank you very much for his support, and also to all my incredible friends who have been my, my inspiration. The community where I teach in Brent is beautifully diverse, and indeed is one of the most multicultural communities in the world. Nearly half of our residents were born outside the UK, and over 100 different languages are spoken by our students in our schools. For many of our students, English is not the main language spoken at home. It's also a community where many of our students unfortunately live in challenging circumstances. They have tough lives. They live in crowded homes and sometimes it's a challenge for them to find peace and a quiet place to study. Others are unable to stay for after school activities because they are carers or have to look after their younger brothers and sisters whilst their parents go to work. What is amazing is that whatever issues they are having at home, whatever is missing from their life or causing them pain, our school is theirs. And I know that if our school could open at six o'clock in the morning, there would be a queue of children waiting outside at five o'clock in the morning. That's how phenomenal they are. So the mo most important thing that we can do as teachers is to ensure that our schools are safe havens. We also have students who have stable home lives and they choose to come to our school. This is because our school celebrates diversity and shapes them into real citizens who accept and appreciate one another. So to all the students all over the world, I say, whatever your circumstances, whatever your troubles, please know that you have the potential to succeed in whatever your dreams may be. And that is a right that nobody should take from you. Yeah, absolutely. So 
Since I was young, my dream was to be an art and textiles teacher. I am proud to be an art and textiles teacher. The arts have to fight for space in the curriculum and for funding. They are often the first budgets to be cut. This is so wrong. You can clap now. <laughs> the arts teach students how to think creatively, which will be important for the jobs they are likely to do when they leave school. They also teach resilience, and the perseverance can pay off. For my students, the arts provide a sanctuary, a place where they can safely express themselves and connect with their identity. We know that students who spend more time on the arts can become more successful at the rest of their studies too. My students are evidence of this. They thrive. Look at our results for a curriculum that embraces the arts. I've just spent the most amazing few days meeting with other phenomenal teachers, phenomenal teachers, and they have come from all over the world. I am celebrating this win with you and with all our teachers back home. That is for all of us. Thank you very much. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 winner of the Global Teacher Prize. And congratulations to our amazing finalists.